Hello beautiful people of the world, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay and today's video is going to be a third trimester pregnancy night routine. This video is in collaboration with my lovely mama friend here on YouTube, Damara Lynch. I will leave her channel linked down below for you to check out after this video. She posts Christian motherhood and lifestyle videos. She has the most adorable family and she is so genuine and kind. I guarantee you will love her content. She posts pregnancy updates because she is expecting as well. How exciting. So definitely check her out after this video and let her know that I sent you. This video is also going to be a giveaway. So coffee, coffee, coffee. Us parents know how much coffee is like a staple in our household. So stay tuned in a few minutes here. I will let you know how to enter this giveaway and all of the details that you need to know. Let's jump right into the pregnancy nighttime routine. And like I said, in a few minutes, I will let you know how to enter this really fun and much needed giveaway. About to hop into the shower. I am obsessed with this shirt. Bun in the oven has a cinnamon bun. My toddler is currently in her bedroom singing and playing so that I can shower. I do dye my hair, obviously, as you can see, my hair is not this color for real. Um, but I'm supposed to use purple shampoo like every second wash and I wash my hair once a week as recommended by my hairstylist so that might be crazy to you look at this like hello this is just crazy this is why my hair is always up because this is my natural hair if I don't um like if I brush my hair like I'm doing now I always brush it right before I wash it then this is what it looks like so everyone that wonders why my hair is always up and that is why anywho I think I've seen on TikTok like the curly girl method and I think I definitely actually have like I do have wavy hair I think my hair is actually like curly I just don't know how to take care of it or how to like do it so I guess I treat it like straight hair and I like brush it so anyways I'm gonna do some purple shampoo and it takes a little longer so my child is distracted I'm gonna have a shower I try to shower a decent amount of time before bed because otherwise my hair is just wet and I know you could blow dry it, but your girl doesn't have time for that. So let's hop in the shower and do all the things we need to do and then we can move on with our night routine. I'm gonna get changed and be right back with you. So I have my PJs on, which is actually my partner's shirt. Like, my belly just feels so big, and my little one, my little one is currently about to hop in the bath, so let's get her bath ready to go, and then we'll get the rest of the stuff on the way. Daughter is in the bath in the background, but obviously I'm not going to film her in the bath. So, while she's in the bath, I do a couple of things normally. Face cream. And there's no real way that I do this. I just kind of dot it all over my face and then rub it in. tattoo brow stuff so if you've seen it on like tiktok essentially it is this kind of like serum that you put on your eyebrows and you leave it on for like 20 minutes and then you peel it off kind of like a face mask like it peels off and then it leaves like a tint on your eyebrows for like two three days so i'm gonna do that i have used this before um, it looks ridiculous my toddler's making a world in the background so it's like literally this like gooey stuff as you can see it kind of looks like eyeliner and then you draw it on your eyebrow 
which I'll do because I can't do it in this. I'll do it in the mirror and then I'll hop back and show you what it looks like. My genuine routine, like while she's in the bath is when I get to do my stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna look crazy, like crazy eyebrow lady for about 20 minutes. So in 20 minutes, I'll take this off. Warning, pregnant belly. So if you're weirded out by a pregnant belly, then don't look. Anyways, as you can see, I have stretch marks on my belly, so. I have in the past put like bio oil on it, but I'm gonna put some Burt's Bees body lotion. It's milk and honey. It smells so good. Um, and all I do is put like a little bit and just rub it in. I'm starting to get bad heartburn, so. Around this time of night, I take a Tums, or this one is like a Tums, but a knockoff version. The time to clean the bathroom while she's in the bath. So, I'm gonna do that now. Clean up the bathroom a little bit. It is time to peel these bad boys off. So yeah, it just peels off like this. And there we go. So that's what it looks like. It just looks like you filled in your eyebrows essentially without actually filling in your eyebrows. The nice thing about this, the reason I bought it is to have it after the baby so that when I'm like obviously not gonna be wearing makeup or anything, I can just do this and then for a few days it'll look like my eyebrows are filled in and not absolutely crazy. So that is gonna be my little bit of a hack postpartum. Let's go head down and start dinner. Let's talk coffee and get a little bit into how to enter this giveaway. So like I said, I'm teaming up with my lovely friend Damara Lynch to do this giveaway for this Starbucks coffee gift card. And all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel as well as Damara Lynch's channel and comment done on each of our videos here so that we can know and double check that you actually subscribe. If you're already subscribed, totally fine. Just let us know in the comments below. So like I said, to enter, make sure you are subscribing to both of our channels, commenting on our pregnancy, pamper, nighttime routine, and giveaway video, and letting us know that you have done these things. Look out for the response from Damara Lynch. She will let you know if you won the giveaway. We're going to be announcing the winner on February 24th, 2021. So that is a Wednesday. You have about three or four days to enter this. So definitely why not get some free coffee and enter this giveaway. Let's move on with the video. I am so excited. I wish I could enter this giveaway because I could use a nice cup of coffee. Who doesn't love free coffee? Am I right? And Starbucks, like I love Starbucks, but normally paying like $5, $6 for a drink, I just can't justify it. But if it's free, then uh, yes, please get me that um, mocha frappe. Let me know your favorite Starbucks drinks in the comments below. I am obsessed with Starbucks. That has been like my craving this pregnancy. Normally I go for like an iced caramel macchiato. I love a cold drink. And I also lately have been loving the mocha frap. I don't know, the whipping cream and everything. And they accidentally made the an extra one the other day and they made it wrong with like cookie crumbles on top and stuff. So they gave it to me for free and it was so good. I don't know what it actually was because I don't think it's actually on the menu what they made. They messed it up, they gave it to me and I need to figure out what it was. So let me know down below what are your favorite Starbucks drinks or your favorite thing to get at Starbucks because I am always looking for new fun drinks to try. I love coffee, I love caramel, I love chocolate. So if it's any of those things, your girl would love to try it. This is dinner tonight. It is just like these pork ribs, but like without the bones in it. And then a stuffed baked potato. So excited. Kind of like burgers, really. So good. And Addison is having ribs.
after dinner, I always love to do the dishes right away. My kitchen is very small. We live in a very small house. So yeah, just doing the dishes right after is a must. I'm also a minimalist, so we only own two forks and three plates. So if we don't wash it the next time we eat, we don't have any utensils or any plates or anything. So that is why I do the dishes right away. I also just love coming down to a clean house in the morning. So while I'm making my tea here, I also love to just tidy up downstairs, make it look nice. It just bugs me if I come down to a messy house. And like I said, we are minimalist, so it's really quick and easy. It takes less than 10, 15 minutes for me to clean the whole entire downstairs and just make sure that it is clean and tidy. satisfying to take like 10 15 minutes max to do the dishes tidy up the living room mop sweep everything i'm just gonna throw this in the washing machine and under the sink these are like stains i can't get those off courtesy of my husband um yeah i just love waking up and coming down to like a fresh clean house and kitchen Something I do at night to make my mornings a lot easier, especially since I'm pregnant, is I make my daughter's lunch ahead of time. So I'll cut up like her veggies and her snacks in here. She is gluten free, so I do have to make her sandwich like the day of so it doesn't get all dry, but everything else is pre-cut. I have her water bottle filled and I normally just either, if it's like summertime, I'll put it in the fridge, but since it's winter time and already cold in the house, I will actually just pop that in her backpack so it's all ready to go. We have her water bottle, her mittens for tomorrow, the shoes are ready to go, her bedding for daycare. We are ready for daycare tomorrow. I do make sure to set out Addison's clothes for daycare the night before. That way in the morning, we are not in a crazy rush. It's just a lot easier for me to grab the clothes that are already set out, put them on her. She is learning how to get dressed herself now that she's three. So she is kind of working on figuring out how to put her pants on and stuff. But a lot of times the both legs go in the one hole and it's just a hot mess. So at least this takes some time off by picking the outfit out already and avoiding that crazy, you know, just freaking out tantrum in the morning of trying to pick out her outfit for her. Prenatal. I take it at night just because it makes me very nauseous. So I actually take it out, put it on my side table, and when my 12 o'clock timer goes off to take my medication for the HG part of my pregnancy, then I take this and go right back to sleep. I hang my towels up there to dry because we don't have a towel rack. I'm about to straighten my hair. I'm currently watching Suits. I have my tea here. The reason I straighten my hair at nighttime is because, as you saw earlier, my hair gets crazy when it dries. Um, and I just don't have the time to do it in the morning. So I either have the option of putting it in a mom bun, 
which if I decide to do that, then I have to keep on doing it every day until I wash my hair again because my hair gets so frizzy. But if I straighten it, then I can at least do like a ponytail or keep it down and it'll, in the morning it won't be like pin straight, but it'll be not frizzy and it'll be tamed. Alrighty, so hair is done. That took about five minutes to quickly do. And then tomorrow I can wake up and just go about my day. So that is done. I am going to actually just brush my teeth, put the little one to bed, and then finish my episode of Suits, drink my tea and head to bed myself. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Definitely make sure to check out Damara Lynch's video. And like I said, to enter the giveaway, make sure you subscribe to both of our channels and comment on both videos letting us know you're done so we can make sure to enter you in the giveaway and the winner will be announced on Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!